Back western slope over the last year, Michael Motometi, Vanessa Salas, and their two-year-old daughter have traveled the world using an AI travel guide to choose which countries to visit and what to experience at each of their destinations. And we're joined over Zoom today by Michael Motometi. Michael, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk with me. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Of course. So, Michael, I guess the first question I had for you is, can you just tell us a little bit about where you traveled using AI as your guide? <laughs> I think that's a pretty loaded question, but <laughs> I'll try my hardest. Um, over the last 12 months, I have um, utilized AI um, basically as a monogamous relationship with a friend, <laughs> as close as to a monogamous relationship with a friend or a wife to basically choose where I go and what I do for the entire year. And it's been a trip for a lack of better words, no pun intended. Okay, awesome. And so did you plan the whole 12 months out in advance or was it kind of trip by trip? No, so we specifically didn't want to do that. Um, what we did was at the end of every trip, so we stay in every country for one month, okay? Um, traveling the entire world. The trip started in, uh, I believe, man, it's so long ago at this point, but I believe it started in Marrakesh in Morocco. And as within the third week, then we would ask what the next destination would be and what the next destination would be. So basically, we ended up from Marrakesh all the way over to Japan um, and then subsequently made it over into Curaçao. And now we are back in Barcelona as I've ended this year-long journey with AI. And it was amazing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sounds amazing. So how does it kind of work planning everything with AI? What are you using? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I am strictly using GuideGeek, um, which is an AI that's being utilized through chat WhatsApp or even through DM on IG um, or Instagram. Um, the reason why I'm using GuideGeek specifically is because it is based off the chat GPT-4, but there is human intervention in there. And there are also because, these, you know, GuideGeek is owned by Matador Network, which is the largest independent travel magazine in the world. So all they do is travel. So GuideGeek is a very specific AI bot, right? This is a very tailored to travel-oriented questions, prompts, et cetera. Um, plus, you can do flights, translations, hotels. I mean, it is a fantastic tool. Awesome. Yeah, no, it sounds like a great tool there. And so can you tell us a little bit, do you have any suggestions about using AI, anything that you've learned from your experiences that might help somebody out along the way? Oh, yeah. So listen, I think it's very interesting that people are starting to utilize AI in their everyday life, right? And the number one thing that I want to tell everybody when they're using AI specifically for travel is that the prompts are the most important thing, okay? Now, don't just stick to the bare bones like, hey, what's the best restaurant? You can do that on Google, okay? Check out my channel at Michael Motomedi on TikTok or Instagram. I have done multiple videos like this. I tell the AI, imagine you're Anthony Bourdain. You just landed in France. What would you do? Okay. Imagine you're Picasso or Dolly. Where would you have a drink in Barcelona? And it's taking me to the actual restaurants that, bar that, that the Dolly would drink at or Picasso would eat at. It's crazy, man. Yeah, no, it sounds like a great way to kind of en enhance your kind of travel experiences there. Well, Michael, that is all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Have a great one. Yeah, you as well. Well, Western Slope, we're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back.